Toxic people can literally suck the life out of you. They cause you to waste your time, drain you from your energy, and yes, they can kill your vision vibes. You know, when they walk in the room, it's like a trail of darkness comes in with them. And it actually reminds me of the character Pigpen on Charlie Brown. Today, I wanna to give you two practical steps that you can take to help you save time and energy when you have toxic people in your life. You ready? Let's get started. Hi there, I'm His Coach Nanette. I'm a licensed professional counselor, master His Coach, and Christian coaching business consultant. If you are a Christian woman, entrepreneur, ready to get free from vision blockers, get clear on the vision so you can get moving on the very thing that God has already given you permission to do, you are in the right place. But first, I want to invite you to subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a video with tips, tools, and strategies to help you while you're on your road to vision manifestation. Now, this is gonna sound really, really harsh, but aside from praying for them and encouraging them, Toxic people are not worth the time or the energy that we give them. You know, if you allow toxic people to be an active part of your life, you are literally inviting nonsense, strife, jealousy, frustration, and stress to dinner. Now, toxic people tend to gossip. They're temperamental. You always have to walk on eggshells around them. You know, they have a victim mentality. They're very critical and judgmental of others. They're, they can be very manipulative, self-centered and arrogant. And everything that comes out of their mouth is very negative. They're very pessimistic. That is toxic and it's negative vibes that while you're on your road to vision manifestation, you ain't got time for that. I surely don't. Tip number one, know who these toxic people are. Here's your action step. I want you to write in your journal, everyone in your life that is toxic. And then beside their names, I want you to write in big letters, warning. I'm reminded of Proverbs 22 and 25 that says, or you will learn their ways and find a snare for yourself. Yes, I know that scripture is talking about anger, but anger can be toxic and negative as well, right? Tip number two, protect yourself from toxic people. God commanded us to love one another and to love our neighbors, but he didn't tell us to put up with people's foolery. As a matter of fact, I'm reminded of 1 Corinthians 15, 33 that says, do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Now to protect yourself, you're going to have to start loving people from a distance. Now, I know some of us have people in our lives that we can't love from a distance, like husbands, wives, moms, dads, you know, those people can be very toxic too. What you're going to have to do is what the Bible says to guard your heart. And how you do that is be mindful of when these people come around you, you have to make sure that you have the strength of the Lord to not allow their toxic words to penetrate your spirit. I love what Hans Hansen said. He said that people inspire you or they drain you. Pick them wisely. Now I've given you two practical steps you can take to help you save time and energy when you have toxic people in your life. If you like free tools, go to link.tree forward slash Nanette Floyd Patterson. And I have several things there that you can download for free. I'll see you on the next video.